Welcome to Story Ask, where you will learn to speak English by listening to stories. Today's story: roast beef. Vocabulary: day, night, night, night. Dream, dream, dream. Treasure, treasure, treasure. Your. Boat, your boat, your boat. An island, an island, an island. Your spade. Your spade. Your spade. Dig. 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 Oven. 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 Roast beef. Roast beef. Roast beef. Row. 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 Now you watch me, and you mime with me. Day, night, dream. Treasure. Your boat. An island. Your spade. Dig. Oven. Row. Roast beef. Now you listen to me, and you mime. Night. Dream. Treasure. Your boat. An island, your spade,
dig. Oven. Row. Roast beef. Now you watch me and you think of the words or speak. Night. Dream. Treasure. Your boat. An island. Your spade. Dig. Oven. Row. Roast beef. Now you listen to the story and understand. One night you dream of treasure. The next day you get into your boat. You row to an island. You take your spade and walk to a tree. You begin to dig. After three hours, you feel tired. You lie down and go to sleep. You have another dream. The treasure is in your mother's oven. You run to your boat and row home. At home, you look in the oven. There is your treasure. Roast beef. Yummy.
Now you listen and mime. One night you dream of treasure. The next day you get into your boat. You row to an island. You take your spade and walk to a tree. You begin to dig. After three hours, you feel tired. You lie down and go to sleep. You have another dream. The treasure is in your mother's oven. You run to your boat and row home. At home, you look in the oven. There is your treasure. Roast beef. Yummy! Now you watch me and you think of the story or speak.
Now listen to the story one more time. One night you dream of treasure. The next day you get into your boat. You row to an island. You take your spade and walk to a tree. You begin to dig. After three hours you feel tired. You lie down and go to sleep. You have another dream. The treasure is in your mother's oven. You run to your boat and row home. At home you look in the oven. There is your treasure. Roast beef. Yummy! One night you dream of treasure. Question. Do you dream of treasure? Yes, you dream of treasure. Do you dream of animals? No, you don't dream of animals. You dream of treasure. Do you dream of of people. No, no, you don't dream of people. So do you dream of people or do you dream of animals or do you dream of treasure? What do you dream of? Well, you don't dream of animals and you don't dream of people. You dream, you dream of treasure. And how much, how much treasure do you dream of? How much? What treasure? Well, you dream of a pirate's chest and inside the chest there is gold and rubies and diamonds and goblets. Lots of treasure, lots and lots of treasure. The next day you get in your boat. Do you get in your boat? Yes, you get in, you get into, you get in, get into your boat. Do you get in your car? No, you don't get into, get into your car, you get into your boat, not your car, your boat. Do you get on your bike? No, you don't get on your bike, you get in your boat, not your bike and you don't get in your car. So do you get on your bicycle or do you get in your car? Or do you get into your boat? What do you do? What do you get into? Well, you don't get into your car and you don't get onto your bike. You get into your boat. And why? Why do you get into your boat? Well, because last night you dreamed of treasure. And it was an interesting dream. And so today you want to go and find the treasure. You row to an island. You row to an island. So question, do you row your boat? Do you row to an island? Yes, you row to an island. Do you sail to an island? Do you sail? No, you don't sail to an island. You 
row to an island? Do you swim to an island? No, you don't swim to an island. You row to an island. So, do you swim to an island? Or do you sail to an island? Or do you row to an island? How do you go? How do you go to the island? Well, you don't swim to the island. No, no. You don't swim. No, no. And you don't sail to the island. To the island. You row your boat to the island. So, question who? Who rows to the island? Do you row to the island? Do I row to the island? Does your brother row to the island? Who rows to the island? Well, I don't row to the island. No, no. And your brother doesn't row to the island. It's you. You row to the island because you had a dream about a treasure. How far, how far is the island? How far is it? Well, the island is a long, long way away. The island is 1,722 miles away. It is 1,722 miles away. It's a long way. You need to row a lot. You take your spade and walk to a tree. So question, do you take your spade and walk to a tree? Yes, you take your spade and walk to a tree. Do you take your bucket and walk to a tree? Do you take your bucket? No, you don't take your bucket. You take your spade and you walk to a tree. Do you take an axe? Do you take an axe and walk to a tree? No, you don't take an axe. And you don't take a bucket. You take a spade and you walk to a tree. So do you take a spade or do you take a bucket or do you take an axe? What do you take? What do you take? What do you take? Well, you don't take a bucket. And you don't take an axe. You take a spade. And why? Why do you take a spade? Well, because last night you had a dream. And in the dream there was a treasure. And the treasure was under ground. So you take the spade because you want to dig and you want to find the treasure. So you begin to dig. You begin to dig. So question, do you begin to dig? Yes, you begin 
to dig. You begin to dig. Do you begin to cut down the tree with the axe? No, you don't begin to cut down the tree with the axe. No, no, no. You begin to dig. Do you begin to climb a tree? No, you don't begin to climb a tree. No, 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 no. You begin to dig because you want to find the treasure. So do you begin to climb a tree? Or do you begin to cut down a tree with an axe? Or do you begin to dig? What do you begin to do? Well, you don't begin to climb a tree and you don't begin to cut down a tree. You begin to dig. And how deep, how deep do you dig? Do you dig one meter deep or two meters deep or three meters deep? How deep do you dig? Well, you dig very deep, very deep. Oh, help. <laughs> You dig deep, deep, deep. Huh. You dig really deep. Yeah. You dig very deep. In fact, you dig 10 meters deep. 10 meters deep and still no treasure. Hmm. After three hours, you feel tired. You feel tired. You've been digging and you've been digging and digging and digging and no treasure. So after three hours, you feel very tired. Yeah. So, question. Do you feel tired after three hours? Well, yes, after three hours, you feel tired. You've been digging, so yes, you feel tired. Do you feel hungry? Do you want to eat after three hours? No, you don't feel hungry. You don't want to eat, you feel tired <laughs> after three hours. Do you feel cold? Do you feel cold after three hours? Well, no, absolutely not. You do not feel cold after three hours. No, 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 no. You are on an island in the middle of the Pacific. It is really hot. And you have been digging for three hours. So no, you don't feel cold. No, 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 not cold. Okay, so do you feel cold? Or do you feel hungry? Or do you feel tired? How do you feel after three hours of digging? Well, after three hours, you don't feel cold. No way. And you don't feel hungry. Uh -uh. You feel tired. Whew. So, who, who feels tired after three hours? Do I feel tired? Does, does my dog feel tired? Do you feel tired? Who feels tired after three hours? Well, my, my dog doesn't feel tired. No, no. I don't feel tired. You feel tired. You have been digging for three hours, so you feel tired. So why? Why do you feel tired after three hours?
Why? Well, you feel tired, you are exhausted because you have been digging for three hours and so you are very, very tired now. Where are you? Where are you now? Well, you are not at home. You are on an island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, 1,722 miles away from home. You lie down and go to sleep. You lie down and go to sleep. It's normal. Question, do you lie down and go to sleep? Do you lie down and go to sleep? Yes, you lie down and you go to sleep. Do you go for a swim? Uh, no, you don't go for a swim. No, no, you have been digging for three hours and you don't want to go for a swim. You want to sleep. You are tired. You don't want to swim. Do you sit down and read a book? Do you sit down and read a book? No, you don't sit down and read a book. And you don't go for a swim either. You lie down and you go to sleep. So, do you sit down and read a book? Or do you lie down and go to sleep? Or do you go for a swim? What? do you do? Well, you don't read a book and you don't go for a swim. You lie down and go to sleep. Okay, so what, what do you lie down on? What do you lie down on? Well, you well, you don't lie down on a bed. You didn't take your bed. You lie down on the beach. You lie down on the sand. Okay? Under, under the tree. Under the tree. And what are you wearing? What are you wearing? Well, you are not wearing an Armani suit. No. You are wearing... Your swimming trunks. These are your swimming trunks with the palm trees. You have another dream. Question. Do you have another dream? Yes, you have another dream. Question. Do you have do you eat an ice cream? Do you eat an ice cream? Do you have an ice cream? No, you don't have an ice cream. You have another dream. You are sleeping. Do you have a brilliant idea? No, you don't have a brilliant idea. No, no, no. You have another dream. So do you have an ice cream? Or do you have a brilliant idea? Or do you have another dream? What do you have? Well, you don't have an ice cream. No, no. And you don't have a brilliant idea. You have another dream. How long, how much time, how long do you sleep for? How long do you sleep for? Well, you sleep for three hours. Yeah, three hours digging? 
and three hours sleeping. And you have another dream. And in the dream, in the dream, the treasure is in your mother's oven. Mm. So, is the treasure in your mother's oven? Yes, the treasure is in your mother's oven. Is the treasure in your father's garden? No, the treasure is not in your father's garden. No, 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 no. The treasure is in your mother's oven. Is the treasure on a desert island? No, the treasure is not on a desert island. The treasure is in your mother's oven. So is the treasure on a desert island? Or is the treasure in your father's garden? Or is the treasure in your mother's oven? Where is the treasure? Well, it's not in your father's garden. And it's not on a desert island. It is in your mother's oven. The treasure is in your mother's oven. You run to your boat and row home. So do you run to your boat and row home? Do you run to your boat and row home? Yes, you run to your boat. Do you row home? Yes, you row back home. Do you run to the hills? Do you run to the hills? No. You don't run to the hills. You run to your boat. So, do you run to your boat? Do you row home? Do you run to the hills? What do you do? Well, you don't run to the hills. No, no, no. But you do run to your boat and you do row back home. And why? Why do you row back home? Why? Well, because you had a dream and in the dream there was a treasure and the treasure was in your mother's oven. So you ran to your boat and you rowed home. <clears throat> At home you look in your oven. You look in the oven. At home, you look in the oven. Do you look in the oven at home? Do you look in the oven? Yes, you look in the oven. Do you look in the window? Do you look in the window? Do you look in the window? No, you don't look in 
the window. You look in the oven. Do you look in the mirror? Do you look in the mirror? Well, no, you don't look in the mirror and you don't look in the window. You look in the oven. So do you look in the window or do you look in the mirror or do you look in the oven? Where do you look? Well, you don't look in the window and you don't look in the mirror. You look in the oven. And why? Why do you look in the oven? Well, because you had a dream and in the dream there was a treasure in your mother's oven. There is your treasure. Roast beef. Yummy. Question. Is there your treasure in the oven? Yes, in the oven there is your treasure. Is there roast beef in the oven? Yes, there is roast beef in the oven. Is there steak and kidney pie in the oven? No, there is not steak and kidney pie in the oven. There is roast beef. And do you like mm, roast beef? Oh yes, you love roast beef. It's your favourite, especially your mother's roast beef beef. That is your treasure. You can't eat gold. So I will read slowly and then I will read at normal speed. Roast beef. One night you dream of treasure. It is a very realistic dream. So the next day you get on your bicycle and ride to the seashore where your little rowing boat is waiting. You throw your spade in, sit down, pick up the oars and start rowing to a little island across the sea. When you arrive at the island, you start digging. After three hours, you feel tired and you go to sleep. Then you have another dream. This time you have another dream again about a treasure. The treasure is in your mother's oven. You wake up and run to your boat. To your boat. You row back home as fast as you can. When you get back home, you immediately look in your mother's oven. There you find your treasure, your mother's roast beef. Nobody cooks as well as your mother. 
Now I will read at normal speed. Roast beef. One night you dream of treasure. It is a very realistic dream. So the next day you get on your bicycle and ride to the seashore where your little rowing boat is waiting. You throw your spade in, sit down, pick up the oars and start rowing to a little island across the sea. When you arrive at the island, you start digging. After three hours, you feel tired and you go to sleep. Then you have another dream. This time you have another dream again about a treasure. The treasure is in your mother's oven. You wake up and run to your boat. You row back home as fast as you can. When you get back home, you immediately look in your mother's oven. There you find your treasure your mother's roast beef. Nobody cooks as well as your mother. So, what is the moral of the story? Hmm. If there is one. Write it in the comments or continue the story. That is the end of roast beef. If you like this lesson, please give me a like. Please subscribe to my channel. It helps me. And please press ping on bell. Thank you and see you again next week. Bye bye.